Hi, I'm at Hollingwood this morning. I'm having a walk down to Stavely. This is part eight of my Chesterfield Canal restoration series. I'm going to have a walk down the canal towpath up to uh, up to Stavely, up to Hartington. Um, we're going to have a look at some of the work that they've started doing over the last few weeks. Two boats today. A beautiful, crisp, late February morning this morning. Uh, first time the sun's been out this week, I think. Um, but don't let the sun fool you, it is pretty cold this morning, it's about 3 degrees. Seems like years ago, doesn't it, since we started talking about the, the Stavely Town deal uh, and starting the work. Um, but we finally started to see some movement in the last few weeks. Navigate this this flood. Made a bit of a mistake coming around the outside of the harbour. But I've already got wet feet, so never mind. Let's see how much rain we've had over the last uh, last week or so. In fact, the whole winter, everywhere is just an absolute fuck fest, isn't it? So we're expecting some real progress and actual building work starting um, over the first half of 2024. And in particular, uh, the subject of today's video is uh, the work that's starting on the new impending Trans-Pennine Trail Bridge. I think it was July, wasn't it, the last time I did a video, when they were just starting to do, uh, they were just doing some of the surveying, uh, what's it called, where they drill the holes into the ground, uh, getting ready, just exploring uh, the next stage of the Stavely Puddle Bank. So just to remind you, here's the end of the current canal. And this is the next bit in line, isn't it? So, a bit of news on, on this little bit, actually, because this, this bit's, this HS2 has been a big delay in getting this sorted as well as funding etc but um, this has been up in the air uh, and HS2 is not happening now this was going to be like a spur off to a depot um, I, I don't think it's ever really as any feasible chance of happening as it this little bit but there's always been that hold it's always been protected and I think that protection runs out this summer so in the original plans there was meant to be a lock because if you look I mean that's pretty much and you see that's the level of the railway at the top and then the canal they was having to lower the canal through a lock and send it underneath the new railway that they were going to build um, they don't have to do that now so there's one less lock so that's going to take quite a bit of a chunk of, of cost off isn't it for this next section so they've not started actually building this bridge yet but they have started clearing away all the bankings of vegetation uh, getting ready for that initial initial groundworks for the foundations etc to go in so you can see there's been quite a lot of clearance work done on this side because this is going to be the course of the canal and all this has been cleared a lot more open now and the bridge is just going straight across straight across here and of course the canal is going to be cutting straight across this footpath that we're on at the moment so there's where we've walked from spin you around that's where it's going off in that direction i'll get get down there and we'll we'll show you properly you know, all the paths have been widened as well around this around this little spot. No work going off today. I'm just coming up to the site now where the bridge is going to be going over. So don't forget, it's not um, it's not a new concept having a bridge in this location. The Great Central Railway, which I've covered in other videos, um, other railway videos I've done here, came straight across the just, uh, top of the canal here. So the Trans Pennine Trail is just a replacement for that bridge that was uh, that was cut um, many years ago. You can see all the, the trees that have been felled. Did I read? I think I read somewhere. I think that's it for the tree felling now. That's all that that's all that they're planning to take out.
I understand the only thing I've really shown you on this video is that someone's done a little bit of vegetation clearance. Um, but I just wanted to show you just that something is happening. There's, uh, there's more things going to be coming on the horizon. So I'll, uh, I'll keep doing short update videos as things start to progress. It's so wet recently, I don't think I've ever seen this derelict bit of the canal so full of water. Let's just walk up to the end here. And we'll, uh, we'll get a view over how the puddle banks are looking at the moment because this is the next section isn't it this is the stuff that they've been doing the surveying on the uh, the ground surveying and there's the puddle bank sneaking off down towards any shore um but i'll cover all these bits in more detail when we start to see developments on these next sections. I have an interest in canals and I have an interest in disused things and abandoned things. So putting putting the two together, get out of there, Gordo. Putting the two together is uh, is fascinating for something like this, the restoration of this old canal on my doorstep. I find it really, 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 really exciting. But as always, when you're spending money from grants and public money, um, not everyone is so positive about these things. And I've noticed there is, unfortunately, quite some vocal negative commentators popping up on social media and i've had i've had a message um about a month ago from someone in response to a facebook post that i put up about this work that's carrying on i won't give the name it wasn't a real name anyway it was an alias but um i just wanted to clarify a few points so dear wobbly if that is in fact your real name great start to the email um i won't read out the full message um, but just to pick out a few points, why spend the money on a canal? Canals are Victorian technology. Te Victorian technology, I think, yeah, I think you're uh, at least a, a century out there. It's not um, George the Third, I think, was uh, the monarch when this canal was built. Why is the money not being spent on new roads? Mm. Judging by the potholes coming down here, I think I'll just sidestep that question. Housing for homeless, schools, improving local healthcare, activities for children, etc. Um, this money wouldn't be coming to Stavely if it, if it wasn't for the canal. It's not a, a let's substitute it and spend it on something else. How is a bridge worth five million pounds? I don't think the bridge is worth five million. I think the overall deal, including the uh, the harbour and all the redevelopment around there, is part of that as well, plus a lot of the other work. How do I respond to promoting the destruction of nature and homes of endangered species? I just don't know anything about that, I'm sorry. What long-term future does the canal have? Um, well, hopefully, we'll be able to see boats um, coming from the canal network to this section i think that's that's the ultimate long-term goal isn't it the only ones who have anything to do with the canal are old people i thought this one was mightily disrespectful um i see a lot of young people using the canal there's youngsters fishing uh, on there today so you know i don't think it's i think that's a little bit wider than mine just saying it's only old people that are interested in the canal i know people my age that are Am I old? I don't know. Then it goes on to point out that uh, my views don't count because I'm not local. Um, I can walk. I can walk it from my house. I know I'm not from Stavely, um, but I class this as local. I can walk to various stages of the canal, disused, and the working sections from uh, from my house. So I do have a, an interest. So I will sign off there. So cheers for watching this short update. I'll get more of these out as more stuff progresses, as there's more interesting things to show you. So as always, I just want to put on my record, I think the people who do the, the, the work for the Chesterfield Canal Trust, all the volunteers, everyone who's involved, I think you do a fantastic job. Uh, under challenging circumstances, it's, things are difficult at the moment, aren't they, money-wise. Um, so as always, cheers for watching. Take care, we'll see you soon. Bye, Gordo.